Good morning, ladies and gentlemen from Central Texas, USA. I'm still alive and in color in my Casita RV. 84 square feet of harmony to me. This is my sixth RV and I've been full timing a long time. And uh, this is the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. I think it's Monday. Uh, I think it is. I think it's the last day of September, but it's still warm. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 40. With a high of 60. You guys are already getting cool weather. We hadn't even got close down here. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? <clears throat> the temperature in Butte right it's now high. is 26. 26 with light snow and a high of 37. Now, you want me to warm you up? I will. Check out these pictures. Hey Google. What's the temperature in Kingsland, Texas? The temperature in Kingsland right now is 77. With a high of 94. Does that make you feel warmer, you butte people? But anyway, what else can I tell you? Hey Google, make us laugh. What do cats eat for breakfast? Mice Krispies. <laughs> Mice Krispies sounds delicious, doesn't it? Anyway, this is Trenton Clump. That's a little. Tra oh, that's an it. This is a little travel trailer. That's a teddy bear with my name on it. That's Olive Oil and Popeye from the old Popeye cartoons. That's Betty Boop, and that's a sticker that says Native Texan behind them with a jalapeno on it. That's a thousand yen note. That's a five euro note, and below that is a two. There's two two dollar bills there. This is a frugal RV gal sticker. Check her channel out. That is Mr. Bo Jangles, and he will dance if you pull his string. I got some bananas that I need to eat because they're getting rotten. And that is Olive Oil's Bra, and that is an Eva Dry de Dehumidifier that helps a little bit. That is a smiling face now with a nose and ears and hair. I added that. And that is a sign, little sign that says, Life is better in a casita, and it is for me. What else? Anyway, Dertrixa says, good times. Yeah, Sunday drive, this is on the Winnebago. Same person says, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Benz, who, who sang? Janice Joplin saying that. Anyway, Carl Hopf, driving to work Monday with your Sunday drive. Well, thank you, Carl Hopf. Uh, this is John Gertbach on the giant Winnebago. It says, what a love to live in this, cruising the USA and Canada. Canada, what an experience. Need to win big on the lottery first. Yeah, that's a big old good one. You'd have to be careful going in to get diesel or whatever it runs on. Uh, Harold Gatlin on the Sunday Drive. Rusty, you should have been a philosopher. I so love this ride conversation and I so relate to your story. Well, I was just driving and talking to myself and y'all were listening. Yvonne Lunsford, Sunday Drive. This, there is an old pharmacy and soda shop in, the, in a small town in North Ohio, the town of Faustoria. The place is around the corner from my uncle's place. It's a throwback in time. It's so cool. I was up there recently thinking it would be long gone, but it was still there and a little more expensive, but still run in the old style. The pharmacy delivers to the locals. That's unusual. <clears throat> Yvonne Lunsford, I remember Dick and Jane and one called Dr. Dan. Yeah, those were beginners, weren't they? <laughs> That's how we started. Uh, this was about my second video. Somebody left a comment. Nomadic Dimitri, or Mitri, I guess, says very long video. It probably was. I ain't much tell him what I was talking about. I mean, I just making stuff up as I went along, I'm sure. Uh, this is on Beer 30. Uh, Nomadic Dimitri again. Happy Beer Anniversary. Well, thank you. Patrick w Wags, W A G Z. This is on RVs everywhere. Uh, good video, SOL is sun in Spanish, that is true, very true. This is Elmo's mid lap on the Sunday drive, kick the can. Went on for hours in my neighborhood in New Jersey many, many years ago, thanks for the memories. Yeah, that was a, that was a game we used to play as kids and God, it would go on forever too lost comma as far as the technician i would rather have them good at their job than have good personal relation skills i guess so as far as having more things 
as far as having more things you have the more things can go wrong that is especially true about wives you're you're awesome rusty well thank you lost comma this is on a sunday drive texas life julie <clears throat> says good story on childhood memories i'm a 50s gals too those were the good old days well you know really the good old days are right now we're still here winnebago this was on the class b johnny petroglia says hey rusty mama petroglia would bump her head on those upper cabinets and she's a bleeder well get her something else uh here's one says johnny petroglia says hey rusty what food in singapore do you like i have no clue uh, Dana, Dina S. Back down memory lane. I remember when I believed the people were inside the television. It's very humorous today, but looking back now, life was simple and pleasant, non-restrictive growing up. What a wonderful time. Thanks for sharing. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, television, I, that didn't fool me out because I already checked that. I checked our TV out real close. I didn't see anybody in there. Uh, Darlene Huth, P.S. The thumbs down is probably the Army tank guy. LOL, back in the day. Could be he's dead now. <clears throat> I could say he passed a uh, passed away or he's no longer with us, but the truth of the matter is he's dead. Uh, Darlene Huth. Oh, sorry about that. I already did that one. Oh, Darlene Huth says, "LOL, Corn City graduate, you're my rival." Yeah, boy, that was a terrible rivalry. We're five, two towns five miles apart, Kennedy, Texas, and Corn City, Texas. Rob Talon uh, says, "Hey, Rusty, with that." with 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 a that talking with hey rusty with a that talking i was hoping you needed to pull over and wet your whistle at reverend jim's damn pub i've only been in there a couple of times uh years ago it used to be just called the pub or something and i'd go down there and have a few beers steve combs enjoyed your reminiscent drive rusty we have a couple of things in common i also could read when i started in school and i remember the dick and jane readers i was bored as well also i had a cushman eagle scooter when i was about 12. had a lot of fun on that thing boy i did too it opened up a whole universe to me i'd go 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 every chance i got i mean i did i i was that i wore the wheels off i wore the wheels off that thing <clears throat> tom fowler says uh, this sunday drive says my favorite videos i'm a little behind you but our lives were very similar in the 60s Please keep these coming. I enjoy them so much. Thanks, Rusty. Well, I'll do them every now and then. Thank you. Scotty Thompson's got about four here. Cool video talk. Thank you. Cool video tech talk Winnebago. Thank you. Uh, does this have a TV, Rusty? I'm sure it does, Scotty, somewhere. Uh, cool comment call. Thank you. Going to be raining tonight, Sunday night, September the 29th, all Monday. And uh, Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Superior, Wisconsin? The temperature in Superior right now is 52. With a high of 63. Okay, Scott, it's not that bad. And this is Derek Sinclair on the little Class B. That van is massively overpriced. In Europe, you can get a van with a much better interior than that. Mercedes also for maybe half the price. Yeah, you could, but then how you go? Well, never mind. Uh, Prairie Night Moon, uh, Sunday Drive. Yep, Freedom. That's what I remember growing up my childhood was very much like yours no such thing as babysitters because everybody raised their own kids uh but anyway you know that's true it was just different uh, you know it was totally different but of course you have to remember too there were jobs for everybody back then and they weren't working at mcdonald's or working at walmart or or you know, amazon sh shipping center and stuff you know you could actually make a reasonable living dale pointer ba baracus a Baracus, I guess, Baracus, a team rig, okay. Taz Mod, howdy, Rusty, Ho howdy, Taz Mod. This is Gerard Trico, Trigo, nice bunkhouse, that's on the Sunlight RV. You provided the full specs, so I don't have to post them here. Well, thank you, Gerard, they must have had them somewhere in the RV. Iron Button on a Sunday drive, the Indian Chief on howdy D duty was Big Chief Thunder Thud. All right, I don't doubt that. It's <laughs> definitely a thud. Uh, anyway, this is on Prius car camping. Uh, when I used to go in my Prius and camp, I did that for off and on for about five years. This is uh, Strange Jadaz 25. Rusty is the best. I get, you're right. 
Taz Mod again. Hey Rusty, thanks for the story in the drive. Being two years younger than you, I saw the same shows and played the same games. I had a crush on Annette Funicello also. The story goes that she was maturing faster than the other girls on the Mickey Mouse Club that they had to wrap a fabric around her chest so she didn't like she had those body parts. Anyway, crazy, crazy. Uh, it says, I had, I had listened to the song Mr. Bojangles by the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Yeah, it's a good song. I like it. Carl French. And I also like uh, uh, Watermelon Wine. I can't remember who sang that song. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, you know, Old Dogs and Children and Watermelon Wine. Carl French, Love the Happy Face, New Hairdo. Greetings from Japan, Rusty. Well, if it's a new hairdo, it's just because that's the way it fell, because there ain't no new hair up there. Spiderhead, a Sunday drive. Love your driving videos. Our backstories are really quite similar, even though I'm just a young man of 69. Yeah, I hear you. Those were simpler and more honest days, better days, I think. By the way, I also had the hots for Annette. She had much she had such magnificent assets. <laughs> Lots of hard work, not too much money but good times. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, it was okay, man. I, our, my life was good and still is. I, but you know, you know, just make it good. That's all you got to do. It. You know, if you you can plan other things, why can't you plan your life? Uh, Johnny Petroglia, hey Rusty, what would your what would your family do in San Antonio? That's where we went shopping. That, you know, there were a lot of things we couldn't get in Kennedy, our little town we lived, so we'd go to San Antonio and get special stuff. A Sunday Drive. Carrie Joe, I enjoyed your story, Rusty. Sounds like a good childhood. It was. Christine Stangy, very nice. Pricey on the Winnebago Class B. Young One, uh, never looked better, Rusty. Hair looks good. See there? Both of them. Taz Mod, hi, Rusty. Hi, Taz. Uh, let's go, Rusty. Get some more up here. Uh, okay, here's one here. This person's name is KVNMCIN Turf One. Big difference is Mitt lost and Trump won. What does that mean? Oh, that was uh, that was an old video I did. He's he's commenting on an old video. <clears throat> Ramblin' Rose uh, looks nice, but my Powerball number has has not come in yet. Oh, I hear you. Uh, Bill Rankin. This, the next four or five are on Sunday Drive. Bill Rankin says it would be great to see some pictures of your past if you have some. I, I don't have a single picture of the past. None. Not one. Uh, keeping up, I remember Winky Dink. We put a plastic wrap on the TV screen and do the squiggles shown on the screen throughout the program until we had the secret t picture by the end of the show. Roy Rogers was still my favorite. Yeah, there was had a lot of stuff back then. <clears throat> Gerald Meadows. If I had been born another mile south in South Texas, I would have been a Mexican. Brownsville is at the end of Texas. We moved steadily north until we got stuck in Houston for about 50 years or so. Uh, we share a lot of the same memories, but I had four brothers to hang out with and about three dozen cousins. Very good video, Rusty. Thank you. Brad Sexton, S-E-X-T-O-N. <clears throat> An interesting time to have grown up, it sounds like. I grew up about 35 miles north of Atlanta in the 70s. Boy, how it's changed. Man, I bet it has. I mean, I, I was in Cumming, Georgia, north of Atlanta, and drove into Atlanta downtown to work every day for about four months. I hated it. Traffic was hell, man. But I have always had a great, had to deal with traffic, so it's nothing new to me. But the older I have gotten, the more I don't like it. We'll be heading west to explore that side of the country in a couple of years. Hopefully, I can look you up. Take care. All right, Brad, go for it. Dell Pointer. Penny King was my girl. Sky King, love that show. Love Penny. Super neat. Great documentation. Grew up on Chet and Brinkley and Lassie. Yeah, we, we had some good stuff. And, and, you know, news back then wasn't too phony, but it was still, uh, they added a lot of flavor. They took liberties with the truth. On a Sunday drive, G. Lee Ferguson. Isn't it amazing how we remember our pets so well? I had a German Shepherd when I was little. That dog looked after me. I can still feel that dog's coat. Yeah, and then Debbie M says our first dog was a Be Beeble named Wallaby. 
Anyway, we'll do a few more. We'll shut her down here. All these next ones are on Sunday Drive. <clears throat> Debbie M., this has to be my favorite video of yours. I grew up in the 60s, and I had that same book, Fun with Dick and Jane, and their dog was Spot. Yep, I see Spot run. It was more a more innocent time, no doors being locked. Then our president got killed, and things were never the same. Thanks for reminiscing. P.S. Annette never married Frankie. They just did a lot of movies together. You sure of that? I think she did marry Frankie Avalon. Terry Murphy, I'd love to have a Cushman Eagle today. Yeah, if you had one, it'd probably be worth $100,000. Tyler, add three, your childhood memories are everyone's memories. How much we all have in common, for sure. Terry Murphy, you mean there was not little people in there in the radio? No, there weren't. I never did find them. They, if they were in there, they were well hidden. G. Lee Ferguson, if you could sign your meals, sign for your meals and had a Cushman Eagle, you came for money, brother. No, I didn't. No, we were, we, hell, my mother made my shoes, man. Made my shirts out of feed sacks. Don't tell me we had money. No, I mean, I, the way I got that Cushman Eagle, I worked for it. That's a very interesting way to get it, isn't it? No, I, I had a, we had 10 acres of land that was trapped kind of over by a pasture. And it was so covered with rocks and stumps that we couldn't plant it. <clears throat> and my dad told me that if I cleared that field of rocks and stumps, and planted it with flax, whatever I made off of it, I could have the money. And uh, so I went to work. Every time I, every chance I got, I cleared rocks and stumps for months. And then the following year, I was able to plant the flax and reap a little harvest of flax. And I, I don't know how much we got off of it, but I remember daddy gave me enough out of that to get me a Cushman Eagle. But no, I, we didn't come for money. I, I assure you that. And as far as signing uh, tickets, it was a small town. Everybody knew everybody. Uh, a man's word was his bond. And so if my parents told somebody that, <clears throat> that if we came in and got a snack or whatever or something to eat, that uh, just write up a ticket and they'd pay it at the end of every month, and they did. And that was the way life was done then. I mean, that's just the way it was. As far as being wealthy, no. <clears throat> we weren't even close. I see how you could derive that out of what I was saying, but that's not that was not the case at all. Terry Murphy, did Winky Dink have that plastic film you put on your TV screen? I never did get the plastic film. I always wanted it, but I never got it. Gerard Trico, interesting to hear your experiences growing up and comparing them to mine from the same area. The biggest difference being I grew up on the outskirts of New Orleans and you grew up in small town Texas. Uh, my parents did, did worry about us being attacked by bad people. We did lock our doors. But anyway, good to know, Gerard. Uh, yeah, he did it to kin kindergarten. So, you know, th that was a little different. Uh, we'll get about three more and then we'll shut it down. Peggy Parker, simpler times. I missed them growing up on a farm, and I did the same when I got a car, even in the late 70s, early 80s. We had a big gas tank for the tractors, and I filled up whenever I wanted. Good times. Yeah, it was. Nana Betty G., my going home with a friend story, I walked to school, kindergarten, 1957. Nancy's mother said I could go home with them and she would call my mother. We had a party line and Nancy's mother couldn't get through to my mom who was frantically looking for me. When my dad got home, she came and got me in the only car we had. Never did that again. No, I hear you. Uh, Robin Rutschman says on sale for 154000 or 55000 which is nine times more expensive than the Casita. <clears throat> well, actually, my casita was 20000 so it was basically eight times, but that's close. Uh, Cleon Eck, thanks for the ride, and the story of your childhood brings back a lot of memories. Cactus Jack, sad that the Tamale King isn't still in business there at Buckhannon Dam. No, they closed. They went out of business. I think she priced herself out of business. I don't know what happened. Maybe she couldn't keep help. Who knows? It was a small business, and they don't last long. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, from Central Texas, Hey Google, make us laugh. <laughs> Almost forgot. Why can't you trust an atom? Because they make up literally everything. Okay, that's a biggie. Write it down, guys. Anyway, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. Doesn't cost you one penny. Some of you are, and some of you have, and I appreciate it very much. What else? Drink plenty of water. 
three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. What else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? What does that do? It relieves stress and lowers your blood pressure. Is that good? Yes, it is. It's very good for you. What else? Stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, walk, walk. Exercise your body once or twice a day. That's very good for you. You may live healthier a little longer. What else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes. Add in good ingredients make your life a whole lot better probably lower your stress level too and uh, so accentuate the positive eliminate the negative and enjoy your life one day at a time adios amigos carry on at ease enjoy your day i'll, I'll upload another rv video today <clears throat> as far as doing one after that i don't know we'll see if i get a chance i'll come i may come up who you know i don't know i, I anyway, enjoy your day guys it's a monday so uh Enjoy. Adios. Hope the weather's nice where you are. Bye-bye.